Hi everyone, it's Tony. Just wanted to share a message from the Lord. Welcome to the channel. There was a subscriber who was asking who Jesus is. And those who don't know who Jesus is, don't know him personally. Because if you know him, you wouldn't be asking. Actually, they, the question was, who was Jesus? And the answer is, Jesus is very much alive. He's the resurrected Savior. So it, the question should be, who is Jesus? And I like to answer that question. So I entitled this video, Who Jesus Is to Me. So I wrote a message about it. I'd like to read it to you. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> who Jesus Christ is to me. People have asked who Jesus was. The Bible says Jesus Christ is resurrected from the dead and is very much alive. So the question is not who Jesus was. The question is who Jesus is. In answer to this question, I will talk about who Jesus said he was since he is the source of the question. I will also answer who Jesus is to me. The Bible says we are his witnesses to the ends of the earth. Since he goes with us everywhere we go, and is always present in our lives, it's not too difficult to explain who he is to each one of us. If you cannot explain who he is, plain and simple, you do not know him. But maybe after hearing this message, you will make a decision to come and know him. Jesus Christ is the risen Savior who is very much alive. He lives in the hearts of those who know him and love him. In John 1.1, 1, 1, we learn that Jesus is the Word of God. So if you choose to know Jesus as Savior, we must come to know His Word. Since He is the source, we must get an understanding of what He taught in His Word in the Holy Bible. In the Bible, in John 14.6, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. In John 11:25, Jesus said, I am the resurrection and the life. In the Bible, we learn in Isaiah 9, 6, that Jesus is the everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace, and the government is upon his shoulders. In John 4, 24, Jesus told us, He is the living one who must be worshipped in spirit and in truth. He also told us he's the living water that washes away our sins in John 4.10. He is the good shepherd that restores our souls, Psalm 23. He's our best friend who sticks closer than a brother, as written in Proverbs 18.24. He operates through our hearts when we accept him as our personal Lord and Savior and become born again into his Holy Spirit. In John 3.3, 3, Jesus said, Ye must be born again to see the kingdom of God. When we surrender our will to his will and confess our sins, ask forgiveness of them, and accept Jesus Christ into our hearts so he can rule and reign over us, we become born again. We must humble ourselves, lower our pride, and go to him. No one can do this for us, we must call out to him in faith that he exists and he is the only sinless one who died on the cross to atone for our sins. In Matthew 26 and 28, Jesus said, For this is my blood of the New Testament, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. In 1 Peter 3.18 we read, For Christ also suffered once for sins the righteous for the unrighteous, that he might bring us to God, 
being put to death in the flesh, but made alive in the spirit. By this Bible verse, we come to understand that Jesus Christ is alive, and this is why we call him the risen Savior. As the song goes, He is risen from the dead, and he is Lord. Every knee shall bow, every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. In Matthew eleven twenty eight to 30, Jesus told us, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Jesus turns no one away that sincerely comes to him for their salvation. <clears throat> he understands our need to be forgiven, and he welcomes us to call upon his name for this to be done. Excuse me. To those of us who know him, we do not need to ask anyone who he is because we can witness to who, what he has done in our lives and how he operates within us. So now I'll speak of who Jesus Christ is in my own life. Jesus stays with me night and day through every circumstance. I face and every difficulty I must overcome. He delivers from addictions that shame us and make us feel empty and alone. He gives us the love and peace that passes all understanding, Philippians 4, 6. For those of us who know him personally and love him above all else, we can go on and on about who Jesus Christ our Lord is and why he came. And why, and we, excuse me, we are the living evidence he has put before you today to witness who he is, not who he was. If you need more evidence, why not call upon his name, the name above all names? Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. Acts 4.12 To sum this up, I can testify that Jesus Christ is a best friend, a father to the fatherless, teacher, leader, guide, helper, comforter, and so much more. He is the one who can lead us out of the darkness into his glorious light. He can deliver us from our empty ways of life and give us new life in his spirit. He can replace our guilt and shame with peace and joy. But not only does he offer us salvation in his name, he also offers us eternal home in heaven when we die. The Bible says, The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus the Lord. Jesus is the gift that keeps on giving. There's no greater gift than the gift of knowing Jesus as Lord and Savior. Please consider this your invitation to salvation. Romans 10, 9 and 10 states, If you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with thine heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. And in 1 John 1, 8 to 10, the Bible states, if we say we have no sin, we deceive ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, God is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. If you agree with God's word that you are a sinner in need of a Savior, Please bow your head and ask forgiveness of your sins and invite Jesus Christ into your heart as your Lord and personal Savior. 
This is the most important decision you will ever make. We will now say a prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for saving our souls and cleansing us from all unrighteousness. We want to live for you only and be a part of your family. Please send your Son into our hearts to save us, cleanse us, heal us, and give us new life in his name. Thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. So that is who Jesus is to me and so much more because he's indescribable and the love he gives is indescribable and the forgiveness. And it's a better way of life than when we're on our own, trying to do it our way. So he's amazing. And if you don't know him, please come to him today. Ask forgiveness of your sins. Accept him as your savior. He loves you. He turns no one away. He'll show you the rest of the story, his story, how to walk with him. It's just amazing. And you too can have victory in Jesus. Love to all. Bye now.